Hello guys, I'm Sneha S. from uh, Sri Venkateshwara College of uh, Engineering, Department of CSE Cybersecurity. Today I'm dealing with the subject Applied Physics and the topic Physics of Animation. Let us begin with a uh, topic outline. Uh, we'll be dealing with introduction to animation, odd rule, and also odd rule multiplier. So what is animation? We all have heard about animation. Uh, so animation is a method of photographing successive drawings, models, or even puppets to create an illusion of movement in a sequence. Or it is a process of displaying still images in a rapid sequence to create the illusion of a movement. Uh, to show the emotional effect of any um, character, uh, we use animation. Here are some basics of animation. Uh, frame. Uh, each image is a frame. Uh, like uh, an individual image is called as a frame. Uh, the frame when uh, run in sequence at a certain rate shows us some motional effect. Frame rate. Number of frames displayed in one second per smooth movement effect. Generally, it is 24 frames per second. Next, we'll be seeing the uh, slow in is loud process. Slow in is a process in which uh, the body is preparing for stopping, and slow out is a process in which the body is speeding up from the still position. Uh, all these terms will be used in the odd rule. That's the reason I have defined them here. Now, let us uh, come to our uh, topic that is the odd rule. Uh, this odd rule. Um, is used, uh, I mean, now uh, it is the distance traveled by the object between two successive frames is calculated by the odd rule. Uh, when we consider frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, and frame five, the distance between frame one and frame two is calculated by using odd rule. So, according to this rule, uh, the distance traveled between two successive frames is obtained by multiplying the base distance by odd numbers like one, three, five, seven during accelerated motion and by multiplying the dis base distance by odd numbers like 7, 5, 3, 1 during deaccelerated motion. Accelerated motion means when an object is in still position and we apply force on it, it starts moving in uniform motion or non-uniform motion, which is called as accelerated motion. And uh, deaccelerated motion means when an object moves in the opposite direction of the force applied. So that is called as deaccelerated motion. Um, so we talked about uh, we termed a topic like base distance. Uh, so the base distance is the smallest distance between two frames. Now, when I consider frame one and frame two, the distance between frame one and frame two is the is, which is the smallest distance and it is the base distance. And for a slot, it this is the distance between the first two frames. The distance between first two frames is uh, is for slow out and the distance between the last two frames is for slow in. Uh, here in explanation, this rule is applicable for both vertical and horizontal motion. It is explained for a body falling under gravity. So first we'll be taking for one second. Now S is equal to half bt square. Uh, so uh, here the time taken is one. Next, uh, the time taken is 2. So, the square of that will give us the base distance that is 4. And then for 3 seconds, it's 9. And for 4 seconds, it's 16. Here, the distance difference between two successive distance is an odd number. Um, when you uh, subtract 4 minus 1, you get 3. And when you subtract 9 minus 4, you get 5. And when you subtract 16 minus 9, you get 7. So, we are getting odd numbers. Odd rule multipliers. Uh, odd rule multipliers is the continuation of odd rule. It's a process of calculating the distance from the first frame to the current frame. And this distance, uh, and we use this distance to place the object on specific frame known as odd rule multiplier. Uh, so for slow out process, it is as follows. Find the distance between the first two frames um, or it is called as a base distance. Then multiply it by one to get the distance between frame 1 and frame 2, the total distance traveled is 0 plus 1. 
I'll be showing uh, how is it done in the following slide. Um, the third one is that you have to multiply by three to get the distance between the frame two and three. The total uh, distance traveled is four. And multiplying by five to get the distance between frame three and frame four, the total distance will be nine. Now let us look into the table. Um, these are the frame numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, to find out the distance, uh, we have to now if you are finding distance between frame one and frame two, um, it will be um, multiplied by one, and that that will be the odd number. Uh, so it is uh, one. Uh, and when you subtract, uh, I mean, then you'll like add the two consecutive frames, you'll get this, and you'll add the next consecutive frames, you'll get five, and so on. To find the distance between the first frame and the existing frame, you just have to subtract two minus one minus one will be zero, two minus two minus one will be one, so it is one square. Uh, next, we'll be taking the third frame, which is three minus uh, one, which will be two square, which will be four. Uh, and the next frame will be 4, 4 minus 1 will be 3, and 3 square will be 9. Uh, it is calculated like this, or the other way of calculating is by simply adding the distance between successive frames where, uh, in the reverse order. Two, 3 plus 1 will be 4, uh, 5 plus uh, 3 plus 1 will be 9, 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1 will be 16, and so on. Next, uh, we shall look into odd rule scenarios. Uh, these odd rule scenarios can be done in four ways um, that are uh, slow out process, slow in process, jumping up process and slow down process. Uh, so the first foremost uh, process is slow out process. Uh, this is done between first two successive frames, which is known as a base distance. Then we have to multiply it by the odd numbers. Um, finally, use squares to multiply the base distance. Uh, now let us uh, to find first to find out the base distance. We have to take the total distance and divide it by the last frame number minus 1, the whole square. Here is a formula given for finding the base distance. Now we are taking an example where a cart is moving uh, with uh, where whose frames are given in five. There are five different frames given for the cart and the total distance traveled by the cart is 2 meter. So when uh, let us calculate the base distance for frame 1 and frame 2. Uh, to calculate the base distance, we have used the formula uh, total distance divided by last frame minus 1 the whole square. And by finding so, we got the base distance as 0 0.125. Now, in the second step, we'll uh, find the distance between the first frame and the second frame. So, in order to find it, we have to multiply the odd multipliers, that is 1 into the base distance. It is 0 0.125. And then 3 into 0 0.125 uh, will get a consecutive number. And by finding it till the frame 5, um, when you add the, when you sum up all the frame distance, the total distance will be 2, which is uh, given in the diagram. So, this is how we use a old uh, odd rule here. Next is the slow in process. Here, we take the last two frames and multiply the odd numbers in reverse order. In the slow down process, uh, we took uh, in the sequence 1, 3, 5, 7. But here we'll be, we will be taking 5, 7, 3, 1. Here uh, the frame is taken in the reverse order. Mm. Now first by cal the total distance is given as 0 0.9. Now we have taken uh, dividing it by the base. Uh, this, I mean we are dividing it by the last frame minus 1 the whole square. So the base distance will be 0 0.1. Now when we take the distance between third frame, fourth frame and the third frame. Uh, and we multiply and we get some answer that is 0 0.5 and we'll continue the process till uh, when till frame 1 and when we sum up we get the total distance that is 0 0.9 jumping up here uh, we are taking a uh, jumping up is a process where we are taking we'll take the sum up of uh, all the frames uh, here the girl's uh, girl is jumping and the total process is divided into three intervals that is frame 1 frame 2 and frame 3 and the total distance is 0 0.3. So first we have to find the base distance. So we're finding the base distance by taking base distance divided by total frame minus 1, the whole square. So we get 0 0.075. Uh, now we'll be taking um, the distance between the first frame and the second frame and multiplying the odd numbers in the uh, starting order. So after calculating the distance between frame 1 and frame 2, frame 3 and frame uh, 2, we get the total sum as 0 0.3. 
which is exactly equal to this. Next is the jumping down process. Here the frame is divided into four portions. Now we have to take the um, uh, frame distance from the reverse order. That is four, three, two, one. Uh, so first we'll be taking the distance between frame three and frame four and multiplying it by the base distance, which we have found by the formula. Then summing up the process, we get the base distance, which is equal to 0 0.54. So odd rule is used in such scenarios uh, to calculate the um, distance between the successive frames. Uh, why do we need success? I mean, why do we need odd rule? Because we have to play, uh, play, uh, place the frames in an order so that we get a proper animation. So in that case, we use, the, we use this odd rule. That's all. Thank you, guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel.